Yo, what it is, YouTube? It's your boy Nitsit coming back with another Bullseye with tutorial here today on the channel. I wanted to talk about somebody who I feel like is very underrated. I never seen nobody ever really go into, you know, his sound. So today I wanted to bring Pitbull. You know, Pitbull is a very interesting person to me because he was born and raised in Miami, uh, Florida, and I was uh, born and raised in uh, Pompano Beach, Florida. So pretty much that's kind of like 30 minutes away from Miami, pretty much. So it's very interesting to see Pitbull's, you know, how he came up and how he he's like one of the biggest rappers he's one of the biggest rappers and you know listen look at how what what made him successful and everything like that so very first thing i wanted to go over how i feel pitbull got successful with his recordings and getting to where he's at right now where he's working on pop songs and he's always in the club and he's just he this man is really a huge artist he's got diamond records multi-platinum you know let's look at this i feel like the first thing the first ingredient to you know how he was able to cook up such a great career is his mindset so let's look at this video here from 2015 and i did speed it up a little bit so um let's look at it and just listen to what pitbull has to say about making music a hit song okay mm -hmm. because let's face it the hits have to come Keep going, yes. right how do you do how are you staying in touch with with everything that happens musically because the more famous you get the more successful you get mm -hmm. sort of the more removed you are from the local street scene mm -hmm. so how how the hell are you staying in touch with all these beats and everything else empower you empower people around you all the time and you teach them what you learned on the way you know to, to get to the level that you're at yeah. and always they're, they're the ones that have their ear to the ground they know what's going on and never be afraid of constructive criticism and never look for a hit the minute you look, it hides. The minute you chase it, it runs. That's so, so true. Have fun and making it. What's the push now? You got the, the radio channel how happening. Mm -hmm. You're doing uh, concerts. Mm -hmm. Are you in the studio recording new stuff? I, 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 I go to the studio and record. I, I record uh, either on, in, in any hotel room that I'm at or on the boat or any, any chance I get. I have the engineer with me all the time. You need to tell me that the technology is so good now mm -hmm. that you don't literally need to go to a studio. Mm -hmm. and, and, and how does that work? In other words, I'm sitting in a hotel room with you and you say, hey, I got a great idea for a song. And we get the bed, we put it up against the wall, we get the pillows, we make our own sound booth, put up the mic, and, and, and get it. Is that work. true? I, yeah, I'm okay. Because I was going to so say, yeah, you, you got to have a, you need a sound kind of engineer for. So the engineer will be able to mix the record because you got to mix the record. But how do you record the music? The beats already done, so they send the beats over and then I'm, you know, knocking out ideas on it. I'm gonna tell you what I don't like about the studios. When you get to the studio, it's all about who's biggest bigger contest, you know. So what do you this mean? guy got a Bugatti, so this guy's gonna go get the new Bugatti. Right. This guy got a chain, this guy's gonna get the bigger chain. And then they're in the studio, you know, amongst each other, always talking. And, and so by the time you guys finish the conversation, I knocked out at least two, three records. So the, the most interesting thing about that Pitbull, that 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 video literally blew my head because he said that all the way in 2015, Pitbull was talking about. He was really talking about like you gotta love the game, you gotta love making music. You heard what he said, like you gotta love making music. It's all about the vibe. And Pitbull does not make no excuses when he records. He's always looking to record whenever, whatever in the hotel room. You know, Pitbull is just trying to catch his vibe. And he says the engineer is the most important thing. He's always with his engineer. So that's what I like what I always say too. You know, it's very interesting because this is what I always try to tell y'all. Making music has nothing to do with all of this fancy microphones and all that stuff. This man said this all the way in 2015. This pit bull is talking about, you know, it's all about the love for the game. And I feel like being an engineer, it has nothing to really do with recording. It has something with being there for the person, you know, like when they going through life and stuff like that, you got to take a picture of that. So that's how I feel about engineering. You know, it's yeah, the music is cool. But once you get good at making music, all right, we all good at making music. You know, I hope, you know, as you guys be watching my videos a, a, a couple years from now, y'all all going to be good. Y'all all going to be raw. If you keep watching my videos, you're going to be raw. I'm not going to hide nothing. I'm going to tell y'all what y'all need to know and I'm going to explain it in a way way you, where you can apply it so i'm already seeing that everybody's getting better that's cool and all like that but i still want to make you make sure you know there's certain stuff i can never teach you like how to keep the vibe and there's certain stuff that you you won't know unless you actually in that moment so that's the thing you got to live your life and put it into the music like how pitbull's talking about when he's in the studio he boo 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 he just working he don't care about what them people talking about chains and cars and all that other stuff because if you if you was rapping for that chains and cars and all that other stuff then he would probably be right there talking talking smack with them boys he probably would get nothing done so it's always about the love for the game and that's what the most important thing I like with Pitbull's interview right there that he was talking about alright cool so then after that you know with Pitbull you know he's a man of his word I found another video of Pitbull putting in that word he putting in that work in that little hotel room look at this and this is all the way what this was um approximately like uploaded 10 years ago so imagine that you know anybody who been doing this music stuff for a long time bro you damn well know 10 years ago there was not no like warm um audio type of companies what I'm saying like that be banking good clones there was no market like that for the home studio stuff like that so either back in the day it was either you had the good stuff or you, you you had the crap stuff you know pretty much so pitbull you know he was he probably did have the good stuff and he was working inside of the you know a hotel room you know you see pitbull right here putting in that word a little laptop look at that look at that look at how they singing bro they not making no excuses bro look at this they putting in that work they putting in that work they love making music if they ain't love making music bro they would not be doing that you think pitbull would be doing this if, if he ain't love making music he'd be like nah i'm trying to go to the studio look at that bro that man don't care bro that man catching the vibe bro look at this man putting in work look at this man putting in work producing look at that look at that he's locked in bro 
This man locked in, bro. This man really love his music stuff, bro. Like, no joke, bro. The only way you going to make it is if you really love making music, bro. Straight up. Pitbull done said it. I'm telling you every single video, bro. If you don't like making music, bro, don't do it, bro. The amount of work it take you to get raw at making music is too much, whoa. It's too, the amount of work it takes you to get in shape and get muscular is too much, bro. The only way you going to do it is if you really love the game. All right. So, yeah, that's pretty much the brief overview of Pitbull that I wanted to give. Like, I just love how this man Pitbull 10 years Years ago this man was still in the hotel room doing what he got to do you know i done had so many situations like this too where i be recording people in hotel rooms cars that's how i started out like i always tell you ain't nobody wanted to let me record him because i was always rapping so everybody knew like yeah he a good rapper you feel me we ain't gonna let him you feel me he's just a rapper so i had to do stuff like this too recording people in hotel rooms and all like you could hear it in my voice that this is kind of personal for me too you know but the main thing too is that you know that making music is all about life perspective because pitbull he from florida i'm from south florida we kind of got that same mindset that same perspective all right cool let's go let's run with it so uh with pitbull's vocal chain you know first thing i would use is an api uh, uh 512c and the main thing about that too is you know the api is very modern and when you push it, it's kind of mid forward. So I feel like that's pretty good because sometimes Pitbull, he be rapping over those EDM beats, you know, those type of uh, pop beats. And sometimes there's a lot of activity. There's a lot of sense. So you want to use something like an API that's really mid forward that might really just help the vocal get a lot of prominence, a lot of presence, you know, in the, the mid range. That's really just going to help it clamp down in the middle of, of these songs. Sometimes these pop songs, they got a lot of stuff going on. And especially in something like the club where they got like mono speakers in the club. You know what I mean? Sometimes you definitely do want to do the processing away where the main ideas of the music can always be captured on that, that mono type of speaker. You know, you don't want to go to the club and now you're on the other side of the club and now you've lost focus of the song. It's going to ruin the vibe of the club. So that's something that important to know about club music and even DJs, they're great at that too. They got ear imagination. They already know what songs are going to hit and kick all through the club. So, you know, Pitbull is very, very well known for that. So the API, you know, we already know it's got 25, 20 op amp inside of it and it's pretty good. The sweet spot for the API is always those uh, first two orange lights. So pe everybody knows knows that and it you know the api is amazing because i think there's another one after this 512c that actually lets you um you know get some more options i think there's like a special anniversary one but this one lets you uh change the gain which is good because you know back in the day what they used to do when the person singing they're writing the gain manually as they're doing it you know they might have the lyrics in front of them and they're literally manually writing the gain so that the preamp and the processing is hitting evenly you know so that's pretty good you know manual gain writing before you even like hit the da you know that's a, an advanced technique that not everybody can do but it's still cool so after that we will have this and the main thing i'm picking 500 series stuff because pitbull's always about being portable portable light you know Baines who is um Gunner and Young Thug's engineer he's talking about how he be riding around carrying the CL1B he be riding around with the Neve 1073 and the CL1B having to love that bit everywhere when he was in Jamaica and I was like damn bro you know that's the beautiful part of being an engineer you got to stay ready you got to be ready for them boys you know it's not just about making music it's about being there to capture somebody's life which is the rapper you know what I mean and that's the that's why I take engineering so seriously that's why I, it's not a joke to me because this is serious like you really got to capture somebody's life if somebody they know die, you got to be there for them to record that, to record that pain, to record that emotion. You feel me? And that's the thing. I would pick the IGS um, LA um, 500 series optical compressor. IGS is a pretty interesting company. You know, they make a lot of good stuff too. But I would pick the 500 series stuff because it's light, it's portable. I could fit it into like a little 500 series chassis for Pitbull. For, so wherever Pitbull ready to go, boom, I drop that down. Vocal chain ready. Let's let's lay it down. Like, like, let's go, Pitbull. Like, we ready to work. You feel me? You got to be on that same type of timing as the rapper when you're an engineer. You know, being an engineer, a, a recording, there's multiple engineers engineers the recording mixing the mastering but the the tracking engineer i feel like he's the most important one because he's the photographer he's the vibe capture he's the one that's really trying to lay down the stuff you know he's the one that's laying down the train tracks you know going through the journey with the rapper so that's why i use the igs opto because it gives me the la two-way sound with the um ergonomics of something like the 500 series so you got to understand that the very first la2a is huge it's like four rack spaces but that's the thing about technology things start to get better faster smaller more compact and that's what the igs i would use it for okay cool now, uh, let's also look here as well. It looks like when Pitbull was in the studio, he would use something like a Neumann U87 or maybe like a C, uh, Sony C800. So, you know, those are pretty popular microphones for like um, pop music. And, you know, Pitbull's no exception. He's like Latin pop. He's a rapper. He's very famous down here in South Florida. Everybody loves him. You know, Pitbull is just a great guy. And that's what making music is all about. You know, it don't really, really have too much with making music. It just so happens that he's a great person and he makes music, you know, so his greatness as 
a person is showing up in his music. His character is showing up in his music. You see his mindset, how he feels. He's a humble dude. He don't care about the watches and the chains and lifestyle. He care about getting in the studio and making these hits. And that's how it's got to be. That's how it's always got to be. So let's look at this chain right here. You know, we got the API preamp working, doing his thing. And, you know, I like to usually hit the yellow light. But, uh, yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. You know, we're just tapping the yellow light. And that's really the sweet spot. So different preamps have different sweet spots. That's something to always be aware of. But the API is just really focused. And you hear my voice right now. You hear how clear and good my voice is sounding right now. So, Dali, Pitbull, 305, you know. Like, that's the type of stuff that this man be on. And he's a legend, bro. And then after that, we will be using the uh, the Sony C800. And I just love the Sony C800. You know, it's a Japanese uh, microphone. And this, this Sony C800, it's just so bright. But even though it's bright, it's very pleasant. I just love how it is. There's some microphones that are kind of harsh or cold or spiky or un they give you an unpleasant feeling but with somebody like pitbull the c800 is just incredible it just gives you that that mainstream sound that just sounds so tonally balanced even though it's so bright in the top you know you would use something like the c800 just because it brings out all of the nuances it's like a high definition camera like a high res camera if you take a picture on a high res camera you know it's going to be so clear and so beautiful and it's going to expose all the marks and anything on your face and sometimes that's that's not good sometimes when you're recording somebody you don't want to hear everything you know what i mean you got to think about the other end you don't want to hear everything maybe somebody has a certain type of harshness in their vocal that a c800 might be bringing out so that's why you might want to switch it for a different um microphone that you're using or if you have the um uad sphere you just switch it out to a different emulation you know what i mean or you process the vocal differently you know so yeah you got to always understand that and then Bane's uh, you know Young Thug's engineer he always talks about he would put a DSer like a um a DBX DSer inside of the chain so this is something that I've been doing lately just when I'm recording audio on YouTube but I would recommend people to maybe even you know go outside of the box and try to put the DSer on the way in for the UA console because you never know because you know if you do you know maybe you only tap the DSer maybe 1 dB and, you know, now that I see that I can use the ds -er maybe to record and it may possibly work, now I think that something like the 1176 is start to, starting to get back on the table for me as a tracking a tracking compressor just due to the fact that I know, like, with Pitbull, I'm pretty sure Pitbull is using, like, a, a very in, industry chain, like an Eve and the CL1B, but I wanted to do something different, like, if I was processing Pitbull's vocals, how I would do it, okay? So then we have the LA-2A, you know, in the LA-2A Legacy. I'm using that because it's the cleanest one out of all of the other ones. You know, Legacy versions are pretty clean. I would just tap it a little bit. If I had the IGS, I would tap it a little bit. Just like this 1 dB just to control the dynamic range. Usually if you, you hit the compressor even harder and harder and harder and you start to hit it, what's going to happen is you're going to start to get like more of the sound of compression. And that's not what you really want. You just want the, uh, you know, functional uh, compression of just controlling the dynamic range because different amount of words have different amount of power. Power. And as you can see, like certain words like the C could have could have put them away, like certain words that have C, P, you know, those consonants, they have more power than other words. So you want to control those words. So before they hit your vocal chain in the dot, they're not going out of the, you know, going all crazy and stuff like that. So, yeah, pretty much, you know, that's all I have here for today. And I know that Pitbull likes to record on the SSL console, you know, gets his stuff mixed. But I wouldn't even use that for Pitbull because I want something clean pop. So you always got to understand the genre. You know, it's crazy how Pitbull you know this man pitbull has diamond records platinum records he got all these type of records but this man pitbull don't got to talk about killing people stepping on people dealing drugs he don't got to talk about that and he's way bigger than all the rappers you want to know why because he's being real with himself he's being honest about who he is as a person and that's what you got to do with your music if you not stepping then don't rap about stepping if you ain't out here like that bro don't be rapping about that because that's not who you really is men lie women lie but the music does not you know if you lying about who you are as a person it doesn't matter if i don't know you or not in real life i'm already hearing the music something about it is not gonna let me bop my head i know y'all done seen that i know y'all done seen that you know songs where you you hear you like damn it sounds good but something about it just not really letting me get in because the energy has to be real. The love for the gang got to be real. And that's what took Pitbull to the top. And if you listen to what I'm saying, that's what's going to take you to the top too. As long as you keep loving the music and you put your heart into it, you always going to get a good outcome because you're going in there with good intentions. All right, so that's the end of my video today. Just want to say thanks a lot for being a great part of my YouTube family. Y'all could get the vocal chain down below for the Pitbull. Dile 305, I'm a Let's go. Y'all could get the vocal chain down below. Just want to say thanks a lot for being a great part of my YouTube family. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Adios.